I'm going to go out on a limb and say it, that if you have an iPhone, iPad, or Mac, Apple Notes is the best note-taking app for you. I've tried basically everything under the sun. It looks kind of a lot like this, and I always end up coming back to Apple Notes. Now, there are three primary reasons why Apple Notes is the best note-taking app for me and is probably the best note-taking app for you. And those three reasons are, one, it is fast and easy to use, two, it has incredible organization and privacy features, and three, it gives you the ability to scan and mark up documents. So let's get into why Apple Notes is king. So the first reason that I love using Apple Notes is that it is fast and you can make it even faster with just a couple settings changes on your phone. If I go here into settings and I click on control center, we can scroll down and add quick notes. So now that that is there, let's say that I need to add a quick note, but I'm actually on a specific website here. So I'm reading about a couple different coffee drinks. If I swipe here to open up control center and I click on quick note, but you'll see that it even has a little button here to click add link. It's now linked to the specific page that I'm on and I can quickly add a note and say, this is the best coffee I've ever had. And I can save it and that will automatically be put into my quick notes and I can go and organize that at a later time. If you've got an iPad with an Apple Pencil, you can start a note immediately from the lock screen. All you have to do is just use the pencil and start writing on the black screen and it'll turn on and save that note automatically. Pretty cool. And the best part about Apple Notes is that it syncs across all of your devices using iCloud. And it is really, really fast. If I have two devices open side by side and I start a note within 10 seconds or so, you'll see that that note on one device has already auto populated on to the next. There's not any other tool in the market that does that that quickly. The second reason why I think Apple Notes is incredibly powerful for most users is there's a lot of organizational and privacy tools that are automatically built in. So if you really enjoy building folders and nesting them to structure all of your notes, this is going to be perfect for you. It's really as simple as just clicking add. We'll title this sample and clicking done. So you'll see that that defaulted just to be a note right here, but you can easily take this folder here and you can nest it under a folder or within a folder and you can do this to your heart's content. It's really simple to then take a note here. If we just click and hold on it, we can move it by clicking here and we can add it into our sample folder and we are good to go. So let's say you've got all of your folder system built out. You might wanna start using hashtags. It's another quick and easy way to filter down all of your notes and make them easily searchable. So here I'm back on this note and I am just going to add hashtag research because I want to categorize all those even if they're in different folders here. So now what I'll do is I'm going to go and create a folder here, but I'm going to create a smart folder. So here we're going to call this research and I'm going to click make smart folder. We're going to click on tags and you've got a handful of filters you can use here. I'm not going to dive into each one, but there's some really powerful stuff you can do in here. We're going to click any selected tag. We're gonna make sure that research is selected. Now, when we click done, it's going to give us this little gear icon here. So now if I click into this research, you can see I've now got all of my notes that have the hashtag research. Regardless of what folder they are in, they will all appear here. And this is really cool and a really powerful way to filter through if you've got hundreds or dozens of notes. If you've got some personal or private information inside of Apple Notes that you wanna make sure you keep safe, you can actually password protect it. I'm gonna swipe over here into settings. If you click onto notes and password here, you can actually see there are three different ways you can protect them using your device passcode, you can use a custom password. You can use touch ID or face ID, depending on your device. So when you go back over to your note, if you want to protect it, you'll just click on the three dot menu. You'll click the lock button and it'll ask for you to verify which of those three you want to use and you are good to go. Now, one of my favorite things about Apple Notes is being able to share notes and folders with family members to collaborate or share information. Me and my wife have an entire shared folder here where within that we keep things like to-do lists, grocery lists, 
house projects. And it's just a quick and simple way to share information back and forth. To do this, you'll just go ahead and grab your folder and you click on the three dot menu and you will click share folder. You then got a handful of ways that you can actually kickstart that process, either through messages. Once you've got it set up, you'll actually see that this folder now has a little share icon and it says shared with a specific person. And you can always go in and edit and tweak that. So if I click on this three dot menu again and I click manage the shared folder, you can make sure that you give additional people access or remove their access if needed. Something new in Apple Notes is the ability to add links from one note into another. Now this works really well for my reading list here. You can see I've got this list of all my notes of all the books I've read within the last year, but each one of these is actually a hyperlink into a separate note. So you'll see right here, here is a note on a book that I'm currently reading and here is kind of my pinned notes. So all I have to do is go ahead and tap and highlight this whole section here and I'm going to click add link. Now what we can do is link to a specific URL or we can link to a page. So if I just type the name of the page here, you can actually see that it pops up right there and you can use the note as a title, you can change the name or you can click done right there. But now that that hyperlink is built, when I click on this, it automatically opens up that note. It's a great way to create a table of contents within a folder if you've got a lot of notes. If you wanna scan in a document into Apple Notes and then mark it up, it's actually relatively simple. Let's go ahead and create a new note. I'm going to click on the camera app and click scan documents here. I'll go ahead and lift this up, raise it. I wanna try and take another one, get a slightly better one here. There we go, I like the second one. So what I'm gonna do is go and delete my first option here. And we're gonna crop this just to make sure I do the edges just right here. Okay, with the magic power of editing, we're gonna pretend like that only took me two seconds. You can also see here, you can change the color. If this was a color PDF, or if you wanna keep it in grayscale or black and white, there's options there. And then you can rotate it if needed, but from there, you are done. So now you've got your saved PDF here. You'll even see here, it auto generates a name for the file based upon the PDF. You can see quick guide over here on the left and you can mark this up. So if we go ahead and click on this and click quick look here, just grab my Apple pencil and I wanna make sure that I remember that I need to highlight this and I need to remember the different cycle types and we are done just like that. It's a great way to save PDFs for things that you might need for work or for your personal life or for your home. It's just a really quick and easy way to do that. So that's the three reasons why I'm using Apple Notes rather than anything else. Again, it kind of feels a little bit like this where there's a million options out there, but I always just come back to the simplicity of Apple Notes. So if this video convinced you to start using Apple Notes or switch from something else, I'd love to know in the comments what feature is driving you towards that. So with that, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.